it's Jesse V. I feel like this shirt is hilarious because look, it's oh, it's like so big, but like it's also really comfortable, so that's why I'm wearing it. But I feel like I'm just wearing like a blanket or something. I don't know. So today we're gonna be talking about a couple of viral creepy pastas that just went across the internet and freaked everybody out. These creepy pastas are a little bit older, so maybe you have or haven't heard of them before. Before I get started, though, I just want to remind you guys that if you would like a Christmas mystery box. They are linked down below. I know I've been talking about them in like every single video, but it is Christmas season and we have been working so hard on these boxes. So I want everyone to have the chance to hear about them. These boxes are so magical and I cannot wait for you guys to see what is inside them. All the pictures I show are just example photos, but there are just so many different things you'll get. Anyways, that is linked down below. Is this sweater gonna drive me absolutely crazy during this video? I'm probably gonna keep having to like adjust it because it's falling off me. Okay, so let's start off by talking about a haunted mp3 file. So the legend goes that people have frequently been seeing this mp3 file appear on their phone while they have their music on shuffle. There are some cases of people even using a streaming service like Spotify and this mp3 will pop up while they're on the discovery section. The file name is called I'm your problem now mp3 or other people have seen it as now it's your problem dot mp3 and according to this legend this occurrence only takes place and affects people when it's a quarter moon now if you guys didn't know a quarter moon occurs when we see the moon half illuminated by the sun and half enshrouded in darkness since the illuminated side points towards the sun it tells astronomers that the moon and the sun are separated by 90 degrees from our perspective here on Earth. I know I just gave you like a mini science lesson over here. But what's crazy is that if you look up different phases of the moon, a lot of people believe that it can affect what happens here on Earth. Sometimes more car accidents happen, more people go to the hospital, more crimes occur. You can look it up for yourself, but there are a lot of strange happenings that have to do with moon phases. For example, werewolves come out on full moons, you know what I mean? Like. It's a thing. Okay, so the people that have randomly seen this song appear on their phone describe it as being completely silenced during the first minute of the song for some reason. And it cannot be skipped or paused once it starts playing. Now, after the one minute of complete silence, the second half of the song consists of multiple screaming voices. It's extremely high in volume and it goes on for a complete seven minutes. So it's a super long audio file. And imagine like just listening to music and this suddenly popping up and you can't pause it, you can't stop it, you can't skip it. There's literally nothing you can do. Now, when I was researching this creepypasta, there was opportunities for me to actually listen to this audio file because it was always attached to the article I was reading. And as much as I feel like I know in my heart it's fake, I could not get myself to listen to the mp3. And there was like a warning on it. It said, do not listen to this audio until you know the consequences. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not listening to this. And don't worry, I'm not gonna put it in this video for you guys to listen to. I wouldn't just like shove that on to you guys. If you want to listen to it on your own time, totally your call. I'm sure it's like all over YouTube and stuff. It's called now it's your problem dot mp3. I just like couldn't do it. Like what's wrong with me? Am I not brave? And also like I can't show it for copyright reasons because everything seems to be copyrighted nowadays. Like you can get in trouble for like breathing if you're on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, this anonymous user talked about what you can do to protect yourself if this song ever appears on your phone. He says, if it starts playing on its own or you accidentally select it, close your eyes immediately before the screaming part starts. He says, do not open your eyes even slightly for any reason during the seven minutes that it plays. He says, while your eyes are closed, some people complain about seeing nightmarish thoughts and images in their head. He says, you can only safely open your eyes once this audio file has been completed. Now, this is where it gets really weird and confusing, so embrace yourselves. Embrace? I mean, brace yourselves. <laughs> embrace yourselves. I mean, you can do that too if you want to. He says, when you find finally 
completely open your eyes, some people claim that you will find yourself in a slightly altered version of the world. So it's kind of like you enter another realm. It may look like the normal world, but it actually isn't. That is so creepy. This is like some Inception stuff. Apparently people are usually stuck in this realm for a maximum of 24 hours. Apparently a lot of people when they go to this alternate universe, they will find themselves in an abandoned train station and the only person they can see is a faceless man sitting on a bench. Apparently this man will walk up to you and tell you all of the secrets of life that everyone needs to know. After he's done telling you all these things, which apparently can last hours, he will give you a ticket to take the train back home. Now, a lot of people when they get back to the real world are so disturbed by the secrets of life this man had told them that they actually get admitted into a psych ward. So that kind of freaky. It basically just says that people who come back from this experience aren't the same anymore. So that's the creepypasta about the scary mp3. I know it's crazy scary. Now obviously guys because I know a lot of people are probably freaking out right now. It's not real. It's a scary story but it's just interesting to like listen to. I don't know why but I love being scared for a slight moment but you have to like understand creepypastas they're just stories, hopefully. <laughs> the second viral creepypasta we're going to be reading is about the man in the Polaroids. Now, this creepypasta was first shared in 2008 by a user known as Peter L. Now, with this story comes actual visuals, which I love when a creepypasta comes with proof, if you will. Basically, this Peter guy says that he had found a bundle of 20 Polaroids attached with an elastic band, and he claims that before he had them, they were first found on the ground by an unidentified girl. She was apparently walking home from elementary school and she picked them up out of the dirt and started looking through them as she walked back to her house. The first image depicts the vague shape of a pale skinned man against a dark forest background, distant and out of focus. The second photo apparently shows the same man but slightly closer to this unknown photographer. So basically Basically, as she's looking through these photos, the man and the Polaroid just gets closer and closer. As the girl flipped through the 10th, 11th, and 12th Polaroids, and while the face remained a bit vague, she started to take notice of his eyes. It's almost like he was looking straight at her, like he could actually see her through this Polaroid. And wherever she would move the Polaroid, it was like his eyes would still look at her, almost like a holographic image. All of a sudden, the man's face was so close, mere inches from the camera lens. His expression was the purest embodiment of evil that the girl had ever seen. She says he looked inhuman. This image scared the girl so much that she dropped most of the photos she was holding onto her front porch of the house. The only one left was the final photo in the bunch, and it said, close enough. The girl started screaming, and apparently her brother heard her from inside the house. He immediately ran outside, but the moment he got outside, his sister was nowhere to be seen. All that he found was a stack of Polaroids sitting on the front porch. He picked them up to take a closer look, and in the very first Polaroid, he saw an image that was a little girl standing very, very far away, and he said it oddly resembled his sister. And in the next photo, she seemed slightly closer. So that's the end of the creepypasta. And basically, it's like a never-ending cycle. Whoever looks at these photographs eventually will be in them. So I thought that was kind of creepy and it's kind of cool to see the visuals. Obviously, this is also just a story as well. But it's funny because my sister Mandy and I did a video like, I don't know, two or three months ago looking at Polaroids. And I think the first two of this creepypasta were in the ones we were reacting to, but we had no idea where they came from. <laughs> so I guess now I know it's from a creepypasta. Anyways though guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like me telling viral creepypastas like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you would like your Christmas mystery box that is linked down below. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!